Okay, I want to know whose double fantasy was Idol Episode 2. Just finished watching it. Let's get into it, friends. That's right, friends. We're going to talk about the Idol Episode 2 double fantasy. You know... (laughs) You know I love this because it's so torturous. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what this show is going for, but if it's maximum cringe, you've got me in. I'm into it. I not real. It's a bad show, folks. But that being said, there are elements to it that are just beyond. They're mind blowing. I just just keep watching it and going like, what is going on here? Ah! So anyway, um, I'm the man you may know as Z. I am here from Our Reviews Will Kill You to give you a recap breakdown of Idol Episode 2. The, <laughs> the only person fantasy I can... The Weekend's fantasy. Let's talk about that. Holy moly, folks. I uh, Your grandmothers can't watch this. You're, no, it gets real... <laughs> I thought the last episode was dirty. This is so dirty. Oh... Uh, so where do we begin? Let's begin at the beginning. Let's talk about it. And I'm going to use a cheat sheet here. I'm going to use, because I don't want to miss any details, because I, I forgot a detail from the first one that I did, which you can catch right here if you want to watch episode one recap. This is from Quarsh editor at New York. I don't know what this is. This is Vulture, the idle recap. Everyone's team. I don't even know who Diane is. Diane? Who's team Diane? I don't know who that is. So you and I will explore this together. All I remember is in the beginning, her whole team's together. Like Joss, the pop star, the Britney Spears analog. Their whole team is together. And she wants to reveal to them her Tedro- <laughs> Tedros, The weekend. Her remix of her super awesome song, uh, World Class Sinner, which I thought was just, I'm a freak. But, and you you know what this show is actually missing? Synergy. Why have you not released that song, World Class Sinner? Why is it not on the radio? Why is it, why, why is there not a music video for it? Uh, I tried to Shazam it because I thought it was just I'm a freak and not the corn song. And I was wrong. It's called World Class Center because Joss just told me it's called World Class Center. If you try to play it on uh, YouTube, you're only going to get like a minute and a half version that was from the music video. So anyway, Joss recap. <laughs> she <laughs> redid the music. She redid the music. She had a genius idea where she got... uh. <laughs> Okay, I'll try to keep this PG. It won't be PG. PG PG-13. If she gets uh, asphyxiated and banged (laughs) and redoes the vocals, it'll be a smash hit. So basically, she plays for her friend, her her team, a remix. She should have just said, like, I remixed the song. Can we release this at the same time? No, she's like, no, I want to replace the single with this it's basically just her moaning like it's just so cringe it's so gross it's just like oh uh, uh, uh. it's just so gross i can't even i can't even begin to tell you how gross it is so they spent about five minutes about that and then she gets yelled at and told she can't do that and then we spend my lord about 20 minutes filming some ridiculous music uh music video that is never going to see the light of day, apparently, in this this crazy outfit where she's like, I needed to get sewed into this because I'm so whatever. And then they're like, it took three hours for makeup because she's got uh, cut marks on her thighs. Yeah, that's hot. Oh, and I forgot the part where she like sticks ice up her hoo-ha. I don't know. I'm trying here, folks. Um. Let's say, they, yeah, I can't even read the things that they say about how she has, uh, she needs to respect the big jubbly hits. They they spent, basically they spent a lot of money to get um, Joss back on top. And then we find out at some point that her manager has actually been floating her bills, that she can't afford the mortgage. She's about to go broke 
Like she's in big, big trouble. So what I don't understand is uh, she keeps calling. She keeps calling Tedros, 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 Tedros. And he's like, yeah, I'm not, in, I'm, I'm too busy for you, baby. And, and somebody has the, the strange perversion that, and this is clearly the weekend's influence where he thinks that just because you have sexual relations with another person, that they will be magically like in love with you because you gave them the most amazing experience ever. No, that's not how cults work, my friend. Cults work up here in your brain. They rewire your brain. They're not worried about what's down below. Down below, people forget about that. What's up here is what matters. And they don't do a good job of illustrating that. They don't do a good job of illustrating a couple things. I'm going to point this out. At one point, they even get to, and I'm going to, uh, it, it, I'm going to keep hitting on this point because uh, Jenny from Blackpink is an amazing dance. They, they're like, oh, she's an amazing da dancer. Can she sing? And they sit her down. And they're like, we're going to record uh, three tracks with you. Oh my, let's lay some tracks down right now. She's got everything. She's amazing. Because there's a female director, and the director even says, like, oh, she's great. Uh, we do fun. And, and the point is, is that they don't give her enough screen time for me to even know who she is. They talk about her being a great dancer, and they're like, she's out dancing Joss. You don't even show it. You don't even get to see her do anything because this the way this thing is filmed is so crazy. It's so crazy to me. So anyway, Joss keeps struggling. She she wants to control the music video. Um she wants to keep working on it. And uh she it's it's, it's going to cost some money cuz she's aggravating the director. The director's like you're not even you you forget to lip sync the song. Like what's going on here? She's having a breakdown. Um in the meantime, we also find out that Jenny is uh, an inside trader. She's a traitor because she really works for Tedros. And she's a plant because Tedros is some sort of genius who picks up super talented music people that we just have never heard of because he's never, he owes a lot of people a lot of money and he's a scumbag and things. So anyway, you also get um, Isaac uh who's getting his his nards electrocuted because he's a demon i don't know what's going on there none of it makes sense he's supposed to be seducing joss's assistant who quite literally looks like the corpse bride don't understand what's going on with that girl i've never seen them try to fuck up somebody so terribly oh diane is jenny and she's out dancing everybody but can sing show it to us and they give her two seconds to sing, and I'm like, is, is this her singing? Like, what is going on here? Like, I don't even understand what's going on. All anyone cares about is this black pink girl, which is fine. I don't even know that we, do we even hear her sing anything? Should, should we listen? Do, can I listen? Yeah, it's 16 seconds. The girl gets 16 seconds of screen time. Uh, Alvin, you can sing, you can dance. Alvin's going to take you. Anyway, she's also works like i said she works for tedros 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 D she doesn't e she gets 16 seconds of screen time i don't even understand her character you need to give her some more time so eventually tedros comes over because joss has been bugging him to come over and now he finally does and this is where the ass hits the fan. Like, this is the cringiest bit of dialogue, and everything about this is hein It's in a war crime. They should show this in Crimea. Like, what is going on? Uh, yeah. So, it's, it's such a shame, too, because in, in this article, they're going to talk about this, right? They say, uh, Isaac brings some friends, or no, uh, Tedros brings Isaac and some friends. One of the characters, the incredible Susan Son as Chloe. So this girl's so incredible that she has to get totally naked just to be on this show because Hollywood, exploitation, nobody cares, whatever. So she's naked in the pool, comes out, and then she's trying on all of Joss's clothes, and then she's standing in the closet for no reason, doesn't make any sense. And then Tedros starts telling Jocelyn what to do it's just 
as cringy as any porn you've ever heard. Like, it's just gross. And I just don't want anything to do with it. I'm no. And then he's like, I want you to choke on my thing. And then you, but, but like just telling her to pretend you're choking on my thing. And then you're tight little thing. I'm like, why? We would, I don't. If I wanted to watch that, I would just go somewhere else on the internet. I don't need it in a mainstream HBO show. What? She's stretching her colon. <laughs> she spins over. Like, what is going on? This girl, the girl play <laughs> Johnny Depp's daughter. Johnny freaking Depp's daughter is like stretching her colon on the show. What is going on? Oh my gosh. And then at one point he's like, you know, we should give we should give the the record label three new tracks. Hot new tracks. I should move in. And you're like, "Oh, this is stupid." Why anyone doesn't realize that what plan he's put like I don't even know what the plan is. First of all, I I feel like this is more like saw than anything else because Jocelyn Did I forget to mention how sleazy and disgusting he is that she smokes all the time? It's like the biggest turnoff. <laughs> she just smokes all the time. Please, please stop. Please. But then like her feet are, are bloody and blistered. Like what is this? Is like saw. Just chop your legs off. I don't even understand what's going on. I, uh, this show. I just, Whose fantasy is this? It was a double fantasy. It ain't my fantasy. This is not no. Everyone looks even... <laughs> It's it's sad. It's sad. So here's a sequence of events that I'll leave you with. Um, Joss is working out. She's doing some ropes, looking absolutely terrible, and then in full makeup. And then you see her in the pool, and you see her taking a shower, and her hair is, like, super thin. And then they show you her, like, brushing her hair, like, pulling her hair out because she's brushing it so hard. And then they show her at the music video with, like, full... Uh, I don't know if I don't know if it's a weave. I don't know what it is. Extensions, whatever you want to call it, they like just give you enough of this like psychosomatic self abuse, sadomasochism from Joss. But and then they tell you about her cutting herself, but don't show you. They spend you you know spend like I don't know twenty minutes of the director being mad and like endless takes of the same thing that I don't need to see. And like, there's zero point for the chick from uh, Vogue who's doing an interview to be there, like to ruin Joss's career or not ruin Joss's career. No one cares. This expose, like none of it matters. And then, yeah, it's just bad. It's bad writing. It's ba- it's bad directing. It's ugly. It's gross. It's sleazy. It's cringy. And I'm in it to win it. 10 out of 10, baby. Let's keep them coming. Tell me what you think below. Are you still... Like, Jenny is not getting enough screen time, frankly. Diane. Prove to me that she... I know she's an amazing dancer. Let me see it. Can I see her? Can we have her do anything be more than 16 seconds on screen? And have two lines with The weekend. Please don't have her talk to The weekend. No one needs that. No one. Oh, my God. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it. I'm torturing myself with this show, but hopefully you're along for the ride and we'll enjoy it together. Catch our full-length audio podcast. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places for free to you anytime you want. And you can even catch us. You can come join us on YouTube here. Have fun. Live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join the party. It's a great time. Catch us on Rumble. Instagram, RK underscore U, Rumbles, RKU, all those places and more. Because, oh my gosh, if I hear any more dirty talk, I'm, ugh, I'm just, I'm on to the next one. Ah.